For today's project, I'm gonna show you how we flattened our floor. We had some sagging floor joists in between the main level and the second level, and we were able to get rid of all of that sag by sistering in some new joists, and I'm gonna show you exactly how we did it. As you can see, we've got quite the deflection in these joists, so we need to place a jack underneath of here, lift up the center of this joist, and then sister a new two by eight joist all the way across, supporting on the foundation and the beam in the middle of the house. So as you can see, there are holes in the existing joists, which really weakens them, especially when you've got them out here towards the edge, which resulted in a crack. We've got cracks here. Obviously they placed the hole right above the knot. The knot's gonna be weak too. So that is kind of what's causing all this joist to sag, as well as the fact that they're spaced 24 on center and they're only two by eight, spanning a 12 foot section. So like I said, we're gonna jack these up. The first things first, we've got to remove this existing blocking so that we can get our new sister joists up in there, jack these joists up, and then we'll attach that, that new joist to stiffen things up. Okay, so when you're picking out your new joist, you're gonna obviously make sure that they are, both ends are bearing. That is the goal, is to get both ends bearing. Now, joists are okay if they have a slight crown, which means that this side kinda of goes like that. But um, you want that crown, because that's the strong side of the board, you want that crown up towards the floor. That way, if it settles, you know, it kind of flattens out a little bit. So that's the goal here. My crown is right here, so that is gonna be going up. I wanna take a minute to thank our sponsor for this project, Craig Tool. Now they make a ton of great products and I know you've seen me use those over the years, but for this project we use the Track Horse, which is an amazing saw horse that has an integrated track where you can clamp things and do all kinds of stuff, as well as these clips on the side that will tie in two by fours and link the two saw horses together, giving you a nice workspace. It's also got adjustable feet so you can find that right work surface for you. It's also got a tremendous capacity up to 2200 pounds when the two of them are linked together. We also use the new Versa clamps from Craig which have an adjustable clamp head on the outside of the clamp. Unlike most clamps, you can also flip these around and use them for separating things or holding something apart. Um, but also it has an integrated uh, mechanism here on this side of the clamp where you can attach your pocket hole jig and be able to clamp bigger things together and use those pocket holes that we've liked over the years. Now, if you wanna learn more about these products, make sure you check them out at craigtool.com. They've also got a ton of great sales going on, including the Craig Foreman, as well as other pocket hole jigs. Let's get back to the project. So as you can see, we've got our new joists installed and everything turned out really well. I actually was able to wedge a lot of the new joists in place without having to jack up the existing joists. However, some of them were a little bit too saggy, so I did need to jack those up. Now, as I said before, the best possible scenario is having a wide open ceiling like this one. We've removed all the electrical because we're gonna be doing that electrical all over again. So all of that is out of the way. We were able to bear on both the sill plate over here as well as the beam in the middle. So we've got the full span, full bearing on both ends. And essentially we've added or replaced all of the joists and by leaving the existing joists in there and nailing them together, we're utilizing whatever strength is left in those joists and adding it to this. So this is better than replacing the joists and obviously way better than leaving whatever was there in the first place. Now when it came to securing the new joists in place, we added or we installed them with three framing nails vertically every 16 inches and that's going to make sure that you get a nice bond between the two joists and you've got all the strength that you need to carry your floor. 
Now, one thing you'll notice that in order to get these new joists in, we had to actually remove the bracing, the cross braces that went between the two joists. So what we're gonna do now is reinstall that with just solid blocking between each joist. We'll cut those each to fit and then jam them up in there and toe nail them to all the joists. That way we can tie all of these joists together and help further strengthen our floor system. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. This is gonna be a huge improvement to our floor system. Not only is it taking that sag out, but it is also going to make for a much stiffer, flatter floor above. And altogether, just any improvements that we can do to the floor system is gonna be a good thing. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming projects, which we've got some really cool stuff in store. And until next time, be safe and happy building.